Imagine an engine without any moving parts. The thermoacoustic energy is generated only by sound waves. I had much trouble with friction and wear with my mechanical Stirling engines. So, this almost wear-free engine could be the right concept for a low-maintenance, reliable power generator for times of low sunshine. Actually, to use the acoustic power, the engine needs a moving piston or diaphragm for the electricity generator. This unique principle is very tempting for me, and now I want to build a simple thermoacoustic prototype test engine. I have described the details of the thermoacoustic Stirling engine in an earlier video. First, I searched for a simple design, as it is very important to get a running engine as soon as possible. Then, I can see if the concept of a thermoacoustic engine is suitable for me. Thermoacoustic theory is very complex and the available computer programs also require a long learning curve. In order to achieve results quickly, I don't spend too much time on theory and use simple existing designs as a guide. To ensure fast and inexpensive progress, the first engine should work at atmospheric pressure and a maximum of 300 degrees Celsius. This allows me to use most of the components from the local hardware store and work with simple manufacturing techniques. The whole machine is constructed around the core branch made of a 20mm Pyrex test tube. In addition, there are a few copper bands and PVC hoses from the hardware store. Then, of course, there is some work for the hobby workshop. Now only the regenerator is required and then work can begin on adjusting the length of the feedback branch. I'm now taking some time to finish the thermoacoustic engine and then carefully align the tubes. I hope that the length and volumes are not too difficult to adjust and that I will soon be able to report on a running thermoacoustic engine. Of course, I don't expect much performance from this test engine, but I can learn a lot from it and estimate if a more powerful version would be possible. What do you think about my version of the thermoacoustic engine? Please let me know and write it in the comments. Thanks for watching.